Let's talk Tanya for the fifth of Shvat of a leap year. In yesterday's Tanya, the Alter Rebbe explained the Pasuk Kikar Ve'lecha Hadav Ramiyoid that Torah and Mitzvahs is something which is practical, accessible for every single one of us. And the reason why is because Mo'yach Shal Talalev, the mind controls the heart, and therefore it's within the ability of every single person to use their minds to control the impulses, the instincts, and the passions of the heart. Now that works in the vast majority of instances. However, in today's Tanya, the Altarebbe begins and says, there is an exception to this rule. There is a type of person who, for them, Mo'yach Shal Talalev is not going to work. And who is that person? The Altarebbe says, Im mishu rasha be'emes. Someone who's a truly wicked person, someone who's truly a Russia. Now we know that we've learned about the Russia before, and we said that anyone who sins, even if it's a minor sin, and even if it's every once in a while, that person is considered a Russia. But that's not what the Alter Rebbe is talking about over here. When he says a Russia be'emes, someone who's truly wicked, we're talking about someone who sins, and sins frequently and oftenly, uh, and often and flagrantly. For such a person, the Alter Rebbe says, that person, regarding such a person, our sages say, Rishoim b'rshein b'rshus libam, the Rishoim, they are controlled by their hearts, and not vice versa. This person has lost control of their heart. Their mind cannot exert control over their heart. Does that mean this person can never do a mitzvah? No, they can do a mitzvah on occasion, uh, or even more often than that. But the idea of that the mind actually, whenever it wants, is able to assert control over the heart, that person loses that ability. In the words of the Alter Rebbe, this is a oinesh, this is a punishment for that person. And that person cannot, again, exercise moich shalt al-halev, the mind's um, natural dominance over the heart, at will. So what is such a person to do? After all, that person also is a Jew, and that person also is meant to do what Hashem wants him or her to do. The Alter Rebbe says such a person first needs to do tshuva. Tshuva means a breaking, a shattering, a crushing of the ego. That person sincerely needs to regret their behavior and um, humble themselves. And once the heart is broken, then once again, the mind is able to reassert control over the heart. And what's interesting is that Dr. Rebbe over here seems to be talking about addiction. Because what is the concept of addiction? An addict is someone who they're doing something they know that it's harmful, they know it's hurtful, they know it's hurting themselves, they know it's hurting their relationships, and nevertheless, they've lost control. They cannot, even if they decide to, that they want to, they cannot take control over their lives, over their hearts, over their behaviors. And what's also interesting is that the first step of the 12 steps seems to parallel what the Alter Rebbe is saying, which is the first step of the 12 steps is to acknowledge one's own powerlessness, which means basically breaking one's ego and realizing, I can't, I need God to help me. And the same idea we seem to have over here, except that the Tanya predates the 12 steps by, uh, I don't know, 150 years or so, with Alter Rebbe saying that if someone is a Rasha Ba'emma, someone who has done a sin so many times, that in that area, they've actually, they become an addict. They have lost control over, over, their, over their heart, over their impulses, their desires. And in such a case, the solution is, the person first needs to do tshuva, and once the person has done tshuva, then they are free to actually serve God in their regular way with Moyach Shat Alev, the mind controlling the heart. Now, what exactly is the nature of this tshuva that is required in order for the Rasha Ba'emes, this truly wicked person, to be able to reassert the supremacy of the mind over the heart? That will be the topic of tomorrow's Tanya.